In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this wall cladding like it's done on a Laden Shed house designed by Swedish architectural office Johan Sandberg Architecture. Uh, I am going to do this on a slightly unconventional way because I would like to try to help you to think out of the box and realize what you can do in this particular case with the profiles and how you can easily make a fully parametric family which is very easy to adjust and the most important how you can reuse this principle in your next projects and just to, as I said try to think out of the box. Uh, for this tutorial, I will be using Revit metric architectural template without any added uh, families. So all the things in a template will be by default and you can very easily follow the tutorial and do the same thing. I'm in the Revit right now and for this tutorial, I will be using Revit metric uh, architectural template without any added families or elements. So let's start and I will just create the floor. We'll make it with a 10 by 7 meters, let's say. So 10,000 millimeters because my file is in the millimeters units. By 7 meters, we'll just take it a bit thicker, let's say 300, we'll click OK. Then in all four corners, I would like to place a column. So we'll take architectural one. So we'll take this one and we'll duplicate, create 450 by 450, let's say. And we'll place all of them in the corners. So once that is done, let's just see in 3D how this looks. Okay, what I can see that the level height is a bit higher. I will make it on a three meters. So now we have to create this wooden slanted wall of the horizontal planks. The way I'm going to do this will be a curtain wall. So I will start with the empty curtain wall. We'll just create a duplicate and we'll name it as a shed slanted planks so in intro i said that i would like to show you to think out of the box in this particular case this is going to be a correct categorization this is going to be a wall but those wooden planks they are actually panels if you are looking for a curtain wall but so I'm not going to make them as a panels, I'm instead going to make them as a mullions and because they are horizontal, I'm going to use this as a horizontal mullions. So I will make a horizontal grid of a fixed distance of let's say 350, then we'll take horizontal mullion, this rectangular mullion, 50 by 150. We'll click OK and for a curtain panel, I need nothing. So I will take the empty one and, and we'll click OK. We'll just create this wall. Check the height, I didn't check it. So up to the second level, go to 3D. And now I'm going to select one of the mullions. Unpin it and go to edit type. We'll duplicate this one and we'll name it as, let's say, 40 by 450, 20, 20, 450. Instead of aluminium, I will put any wood, let's say this stained. Okay, and I will put the angle of I don't know, let's try 60 degrees. So this looks fine. Again, I will pin the mullion and we'll go back to the curtain wall and we'll just replace the panel. So we'll put the one we created. We'll select the wall and just hit the space button. So you see that our walls wall look quite okay. I will just create a section just 
to see the spacing between them. And maybe we can just try and make the spacing maybe a bit bigger, like let's say 400. So this is this is quite fine. And if you come here, you see this door, and I'm going to make this as well with a curtain wall. So again, we'll pick the empty one and we'll name it as a shed straight. In this case, I need border of vertical mullions and one border of horizontal mullion. So the first border type will be rectangular 50, 150 and the second one as well. And then for the horizontal will be this one. The curtain panel I can take this solid one for now. So now I'm going to create this wall. Uh, we'll put a height of let's say 2.4 meters and let's make it like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this wall we'll go to edit type and we'll just pick the ends of the profiles we'll slice this one here SL Okay, let's trim this, so connect them. So this looks okay. What I can also do is I can just make this 2.2 meters and take this one like this. So this is okay. What we need now is just to create a small wall underneath of this. And I'm going to create this. I will just take a wall. We'll take this generic 300. We'll make the height 200. And for location line, we'll take exterior. So this one goes to there and then take this do the same thing from the other side okay this needs to be 150 yep and this one here as well and yes i forgot one thing i see it now so the reason the thing i forgot is those profiles here they're so small so they need to follow and align with the line of the slab so what i'm going to do i'm going to select one mullion unpin the um, unpin it edit type and we'll just make this one as a 450 instead of 150 and yes of course change the material wood stained okay and select the wall and replace all the mullions with the one we already did this 50 by 150 so you see and yeah basically that's it for this uh, slanted wall thanks a lot for watching if you would like to support us please like the video and subscribe to our channel